Hey guys, today we're going to design some black silhouette shapes theme with the Halloween upcoming holidays. Why they need to be in just one color? Because they will be very helpful for people that try to cut them on cutter machines, make them into stickers or decoration or using laser, whatever they want. So we want just a one single color shape. And whatever you got like negative color in, like you got white eyes, whatever, those eyes need to be also kind of subtract from this main shape. We cannot use even like white color to make accents. I will show you how you can do that. Let's start by creating a new file. I will go with A4, so it's kind of friendly for home printers and it's also very easy to print in US letter. If you need that, you know what? Let's change the US letter straight away because I know most of you guys use this paper. All right, so we got US letter. It can also be printed as A4 with a bit of scaling, so that's another problem. I prefer the horizontal way, 300 dpi, that's good. Let's check margins. I don't think I need any. I will just avoid edges myself. I don't need any bleeds. And let's create this project. All right, now I simply need to design several shapes. Let's start with the very classic thing. Let's go with the skull-like shape. So I go with a oval shape. You can hold shift for the perfect one, but I don't need perfect one today. I don't need outside colors and I will use black as my main color. You can use orange if you like, whatever color it is, the mostly use that for kind of cutting, making stickers, decoration. So we just need a single color. That's the main point. All right, now I'm going to add a rectangle to it. Let's unite those two shapes. Select both shapes and click Add at the top. All right, now we turn the shape into one singular shape. I will kind of mess it up a bit. Let's zoom in. I like to zoom in with Command Plus. Okay, and I kind of Realigning this, make it ugly. I don't want this to be perfect. All right, this will be something like a skull, I hope. Okay, now I'm going to grab a knife tool. Here it is on the list and make a cut here. This way we can cut this shape into two separate shapes. All right, let's make more adjustments. I want to make it rough, a bit ugly maybe. All right, now we got need some nose and eyes as well. So maybe I will start with triangle here for the nose. And this one I need to add a different color, right? I don't want to add white because I'm afraid I will forget it's white. So I add something else like accent color like that because I need to get rid of that in a moment. I will show you how. Something for eyes as well. You can convert to curves if you want to eat it with node tool. We can even delete some nodes like that. All right. And let's flip it. Nice. Convert to curves so we can modify this one a bit. Turning very sharp node into curvy one. Sometimes it can do the job. Take a look. All right. Now I will select all, all three and I will unite them together first. Add. Now I select the backdrop, the black one, and now I subtract. Take a look. I use my shapes the orange one to make a hole into this one so it's a very uh, craft friendly you can say it's one mono shape and if you want it even more craft friendly you must avoid this kind of stuff take a look you see this transition from this curve to straight line like that if you want to help crafters you can use the round corner tool here just a little bit rounded big appearance and here as well. So the knife, cutting knife, don't need to make very sharp turn. All right. Okay, and we are done with the skull. 
actually even this is not touching the score right it's kind of separate we can still unite them together into one shape. So let's select that, click add. So they will like kind of stick together. All right, we got one silhouette shape done. Few more to go. Let's go with something simple next, maybe just a grave like shape. So again, I start with the very basic shape. I will use round corners at the very top have something like this, some base for the grave. All right, unite together. We will make some kind of cross and use that as the negative one. So again, I give it orange. I try to avoid whites because I got white backdrop. You know what? We can actually get rid of the white backdrop and this way you will never make mistake of like letting white shape somewhere around how we can get rid of the white color in the back, head to document setup, head to colors and click here. Transparent backdrop, okay. Here it is, now I can see even it's white. All right, so now we don't need to be that careful. Okay, let's come and see, come and V, duplicate this guy. And now we unite this first. And then I will subtract from this one. Or at the top, subtract. And again, I will use no tool to make it ugly, irregular. Take a look, I'm moving those nodes just a little bit here and there to make it less symmetrical. Make it a bit wicked. All right, take a look, just a few movements and it's already looking a bit better. A bit more spooky. All right, we got two shapes ready to roll. We cannot forget about the pumpkin, huh? So let's go with the pumpkin. Let's start with oval like that. I will make a duplicate of that by holding command or control. That will be on Windows, you just hold control. So I got several duplicates of it. And this will be my starting point for the pumpkin. And now I will unite all of that together. I will change the bottom a bit, a bit because it's kind of popping up too much. So I click on the single node and I move it with arrows on my keyboard this time. And I can do the same thing here. So let's move some of those nodes. You can move them with mouse. Or if you want very subtle movements, use arrows on your keyboard. Again, I got those super sharp turns here and something that will knife can mess up. So again, try to add a bit of roundness here. Take a look, way better for the knife. How about here? It's almost invisible for human eye, but it will be helpful if you try to cut them or laser them out. Okay, now we can convert to curves to be sure all of those round corners are baked in. Why we need to bake them in? Let me show you. Take a look. When I got shaped like that and I round the corner here, and then I scale the shape up, take a, take a look, the corner is not scaling. It's the same roundness. But if I first bake it in, and now I'm scaling the shape, it's exactly the same, same radius. That's why I bake it. All right, we got base for the pumpkin and now we need some kind of face here. So again, I'm this time I'm going to actually use pen tool, not any base shape. I would just make it by hand like that. Let's go with orange. Command C, Command V, copy and paste. Quick flip at the top, make this one a bit longer. And now we need some kind of scary expression here. So what if I go with something like this? And this will be just a line. Take a look, this time I'm using line. So how can we turn line 
into actual shape. To do that, we need to convert live into shape. So go to layers and click expand stroke. And now our stroke, our line became a regular shape. And again, I will make it ugly. I will move it around, make it a bit unsymmetrical, a bit wicked. Okay. Now the final touch, I hope you still remember. I now I go hold shift to select all three. I will unite them first. Now I select all and you subtract. It is our little pumpkin. I think we need a bat here as well. That's a very classic Halloween thing. So I will go with oval shape first. Maybe something like this. No stroke, black color. Let's start with something like this and now maybe rectangle. As you can see, I'm a lazy person. I use a lot of shapes that are already built in the program and kind of uniting them together, mixing them up. So I don't need to draw a lot with the pen tool or pencil tool. A lazy approach. Okay. Something like that. Now we can actually use note tool to make this a bit more curvy, you can say. I adding multiple nodes to make this line wavy. So that's how you can easily modify existing shape. The node tool is really powerful, underrated tool, in my opinion. All right, we got some kind of bad here going on. We can scale it down. We can actually make some like multiple copies of it. So it's like that. We got smaller one here, even smaller one here. And this will be all one shape. So I now unite this into one thing. All right, we got four done. I think we're going to make two more. And of course, like always, I will share this file with you. So you can just download my file, use it as starting point for your own set, right? You can have six from me and you can keep working on it. You can have multiple different silhouette shapes for like Halloween. So I'm going to share that. The link will be in the description and you can download this for free. But first, let's finish it up. Two more to go. We got this grave. So how about the coffin? That would be easy one to do. I will start with a very simple rectangle. Now we can convert to curves and add additional nodes. Kind of like that. It's all too wide, so I can make it like this. And again, don't forget to mess it up a bit. Make it a bit wicked. Don't make it perfectly geometrical like that. Okay, maybe cross again at the top. That would be kind of nice indication of the coffin. So again, let's try to make a cross with just two rectangles. And again, make it ugly. <laughs> Cool, let's use that cross again on in orange color so we can see it. Subtract. Nice, only one to go. How about the spider? Let's start with the oval, then smaller oval for the head. Okay, that's a proper best shape for the spider. All we need are legs on one side. Like that, I'm using pen tool and then I add stroke on it. And we will need to add some kind of pressure. So this egg is kind of ending with like very sharp way. So let's add some kind of pressure. Moving this down like this. Cool. 
All right, another one. Escape, so I can start drawing new line. All right, what if I duplicate all of that? So I select all four legs I made. Hold command to drag here, flip it, put it back here. And now we can make some changes to it. I think this one is way on the back, too much on the back. We can rotate as well. All right, and our spider is almost ready. Now, as you may guess, we will need to turn those legs. They are still strokes. Take a look. I can change the thickness of it any moment. So we need to turn those legs. So I hold shift to select them all. We need to expand them into regular shapes. So again, I head to layer, expand stroke, and now I can unify everything using add function here at the top. And that's the one shape. Again, why not to zoom in and investigate for very sharp, challenging turns? that may give troubles when try to cut it out or craft it. You can add a bit of round corners here and there. Nobody will really see it, but it will be helpful if you plan to actually print it or cut it. All right. Now don't forget to convert to curves again so we can bake in those round corners. And we are done. So we got And we are done. So we got six different silhouette shapes. The whole point is to have a shape that is in one color that can be easily turned into decoration, whatever the crafters really need. So that's my set. That's just a beginning. Why not to create more, all right? So feel free to download my set with six different shapes and expand on that. Draw even more so you got your own set for this Halloween. Thank you for today. I will see you in the next tutorial.